Um, God is faithful. He won't, he won't ever withhold the graces we need to be holy in our vocations. We can have a reliance on that. Um, but, but praying for the grace of perseverance is a way of asking the Lord to continue to help fix our wills uh, in, according mm-hmm. to his divine plans. So praying for the grace of perseverance, I, I think that's that's one of the most important things we can walk away from. Yeah, and I think the one of the other the image that I have in my mind is that oftentimes we think if if we're going to give us any role in salvation, or whatever whatever we talk about, it's sustained in God, but free to really respond in whatever we have. If we can lose our salvation, it sounds like we can do something. And then we have the sense that salvation is like this team effort where we both have to show up, and God always shows up at the right place, and then sometimes we choose to show up or not. And that, I think that's the wrong image because it separates us as if he's not always acting on us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I think the right mm-hmm. image about salvation is the, is the sun uh, beaming down on the on on your room where you are, and you have and it's always hitting the room. It's always warming. It's always there to be to enlighten one's room. We have to actively do something to reject it. We have to close the blinds, but it's always there for us. So it's not like we have to two of us. We know he's going to meet us, and we go out to meet him in this neutral location or wherever it might be for salvation, and we get ourselves by ourselves. It's rather he wants all to come to salvation. He wants everyone to be saved. Um, it's in the mystery of his will that even though he could, if he wanted to, well, it's maybe for a different episode, He, he not everyone is saved. Um, but anyone who's not saved, the church teaches, of course, is that because you actively resisted the heat. And this isn't like, you know... Washington, D.C., 100 degrees heat. This is the nice kind of heat that's going to warm you up in the room and get you going for the day. So we have, we should realize that, that it's, it's not really two people working together, but rather w- the natural occurrence of, of God's supernatural grace desiring to draw us towards himself even after our sin and rejection, and continuously so. But the question is, are we faithful to him? Are we willing to keep those windows open and that? And to have confidence that he's always there pouring out the desire and desires all of us and to not not be worried or anxious uh, if we're being attentive and loving him. If you can say, Jesus, I love you, and mean it, like not, not, not to get scrupulous, but just simply mean it, like you love another person. If you can say, Jesus, I love you, then you can feel confident that the grace is already working and present in you, and then it's a matter of being faithful to it. So I think it's a matter of... of a, Getting the images right in our mind, we always got to picture God through an images because we just don't see him as he is, and then responding in the right way. Um, but also, the final point is do not give anything to these Protestants that talked about this one <laughs> save, always save. They've got nothing, you know? I mean, they've got, they've got pieces, fragments. The church has everything together. So we have, so even if you can't say, even if you can't say, I don't know exactly why we get to have your point and my point too. Like, I get to have, the, I get to have waffles and, and biscuits for, for breakfast. Um, I know I can have both. I know as a Catholic I can have both. And the only thing I'll leave out is like the bad stuff, you know, margarine or whatever it is. So just feel confident that don't worry, people have thought about this, and it's actually more beautiful in the teaching the deeper you go into it. Father Gregory. Tis I. How many goldfish did you have growing up? Um, I think like three. One mostly at state fairs. They didn't last too long, and I flushed them. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, <laughs> Godsplaining. <laughs>